believe it or not, there actually is a formula for determining the correct speed, and it's pretty simple. The diameter of your workpiece times the RPMs or the speed of the machine should give you a product that falls somewhere between six and nine thousand. That's not six thousand RPMs or nine thousand RPMs. That's just a product that the diameter of the work times the RPM will give you. Let's talk about speed. How fast should you turn something? Well, believe it or not, there actually is a formula. And the formula is a range. And when you multiply two different dimensions together, they should fall within a safe range. The product of these two numbers should be between 6,000 and 9,000. So what we're talking about is the diameter of your workpiece, in this case, 10 inches. The fastest speeds that we can safely turn this would be the diameter of the workpiece, 10 inches, times the RPMs. So 10 inches times, let's say, 600 RPMs would give me 10 times 6 would be 6,000. So that would be about the slowest I should turn it for my tools to cut effectively. I should run a 10 inch piece at about 600 RPMs. The fastest I should run it should be about 900 RPMs because 10 times 900 will give me 9,000 and 9,000 is the upper limit. If we have a much smaller piece, let's say we have a one inch piece, we could safely turn the one inch piece six to nine thousand. Well, wait a minute, most lathes don't go that fast. So on a small one inch piece, you can run it wide open if you want to. But the real test, if you want to know how I determine the test, is I turn it up to the point where I don't feel safe. And then I slow it down just a little bit. Uh, that might seem arbitrary and, and a little, uh, little wild, but that's how I do it. So on something like this, I already know that it's not supposed to be going very fast because it's big. But if I'm going to turn something like a tool handle like this, eh, I'm pretty much going to be running it puppy about as fast as I can get the lathe to go. Uh, roughing down is a whole lot different than when I have a cylinder. If I've got something that's out of balance and the lathe is jumping around, obviously I'm going to run that slow. Start slow and then to, to err on the side of safety and then speed it up as you feel comfortable. If you're turning green wood, the green wood might, even though you get it turned around, it may never be balanced because of the different densities in the wood, it might never balance out correctly. So you're going to have to run that slow. But uh, that will come with time if you get hung up on the, the proper speed that's not going to work so don't get hung up on the proper speed remember your speed ranges between six and nine thousand and that will serve you well